Hello everyone, so as you probably know, neurons communicate by releasing neurotransmitters into the synaptic cleft, and this happens because an action potential reaches the nerve terminal and then voltage gate to the calcium channels open and calcium enters the cell. So this causes uh, synaptic vesicles to fuse with the membrane and as such neurotransmitters inside them are released and then act on a postsynaptic cell. Nevertheless, not all synaptic vesicles are the same, meaning they don't possess always the same origin or probability of being released. Actually, in most known synapses, there are three different pools, different groups of synaptic vesicles carrying neurotransmitters. Currently, these pools are accepted to be the readily releasable pool, the recycling pool, and the reserve pool. So, the readily releasable pool consists of a subset of vesicles that are already docked or attached to the presynaptic membrane and as such are immediately available for release on stimulation. These vesicles are actually docked in special locations called active zones of release, which is where preferential fusion of synaptic vesicles occurs. As such, when an action potential reaches the nerve, these are the first vesicles that suffer exocytosis and release neurotransmitters into the synaptic cleft. It's also important to refer that this pool only contains a, around 1% of all synaptic vesicles in a neuron, so it is quickly depleted. So the second pool is the recycling pool, which is a subset of vesicles that maintain neurotransmitter release under moderate and more prolonged stimulation. This pool is made up of vesicles that are not initially docked, but then uh, fuse with the membrane under more intense stimulation, uh, and then uh, they suffer endocytosis and are again refilled with neurotransmitters, uh, thus being recycled, so they can be again mobilized to the active zones and release and continue the cycle. Uh, this pool is thought to contain about 5 to 20 percent of all vesicles and drive, uh, as I said earlier, a neurotransmission during more prolonged neuronal firing. Finally, the third pool is termed reserve pool, which is a subset of vesicles whose exocytosis is very rare and is only triggered during extremely intense stimulation. In fact, there is some evidence that uh, the vesicles in the reserve pool are only released in large numbers when the recycling pool becomes depleted. Despite that, vesicles in the reserve pool constitute the vast majority of vesicles in the most presynaptic terminals, typically around 80 to 90 percent. It's also possible that the reserve pool is very hard to mobilize because it is highly associated with synapsin which is a protein that prevents the migration of the synaptic vesicles.